In closing, I can't stress enough, we give ourselves in life, we always give ourselves time to adapt to a new job, a new house, a new school, a new neighborhood, but a lot of us give the dog only, sometimes only hours, and it's just simply not fair. Um, I'm surprised how many people call me within the first 12 hours and are ready to, to hang it up because the dog is not this or is doing too much of that. So I can't stress enough, if you're gonna give yourself time to acclimate to any type of anything, please do the same for your dog. There's a lot of things going on in the dog's mind that we can't even begin to comprehend, okay? It's just a lot to walk in. They're bombarded with all of their sense, and you can do them a major favor by just relaxing, allowing them to get a lay of the land, the structure, hierarchy, and of course, exercise. And if you do those things, you'll be more than halfway there. Another thing that we want to make sure you understand is that identification should be kept on your dog at all times. So when we deliver your dog, they will have the rescue's phone number either on their collar, as this one is, or on a tag that will be hanging on the collar. That identification must stay on the dogs for the entire two-week trial period. And really, throughout the rest of the dog's life, the dog should have identification on it at all times. So even after the two-week trial period, we ask that you don't take off this collar or the identification tag with the rescue's phone number on it until you have purchased either a collar or a tag that has your own phone number on it. So just because a dog has a collar on and might have a rabies tag on isn't enough. If your dog were to get loose and was found by a neighbor, we want the quickest method possible for the dog to be returned to you. And the way to do that is to have your phone number on the dog at all times. Going back to what I was saying just a few minutes ago, Rachel reminded me with what she just said. Everybody wants this to work so much with a new dog. The best that you can, try to keep your energy in check. And that's important, especially with little kids and people coming to the house, which goes hand in hand with the whole decompression time. Um, you want to state to the dog what the energy of the house is rather than the dog stating it to you. So when new people come over or you're taking the dog here and there, try to really be that leader, that calm, assertive leader. You'll find your dog is much more responsive and you're set up for success. And last but not least, please be in contact with us. And particularly throughout the two-week trial period, we will be checking in with you to make sure that things are going all right and to see if you have any questions. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us and you know inquire about anything in regards to anything that we've talked about today, the dog, the routine, the veterinary care, all of that. We are more than happy to be here and support you, again, particularly for the first two weeks, but really... Lake Erie Lab Rescue Dogs are Lake Erie Lab Rescue Dogs for life. So we're always here and happy to answer your questions and help you out. So thank you for watching today.